All right, so basically this is my video response to the Gospel of Prosperity being false uh, from Beach Tide 24 user on YouTube. Uh, and I just wanted to comment about the video. I thought it was excellent. You know, I appreciate that, you know, there are people out there that realize the reality of, you know, what the Gospel of Prosperity is and how it's not 100% true. Um, you know, I also realize that a lot of people are misled by this. You know, they believe you know, if they sell X amount of dollars into a ministry, they'll get X amount, you know, back either, you know, like a 60, 100, 100 dollar fold, even a thousand dollar fold return, which is not 100% true. You know, we, I, I've seen this happen countless times. And, you know, lately I've been surfing around YouTube and looking up, you know, questionable televangelists like Benny Hinn, Kenneth Copeland, uh, Cruffle Dollar, um, Jesse Duplan, this is another one, um, T.D. Jakes, you know, just to name a few. And basically, uh, you know, from what I've seen, they get, you know, Joel Osteen, that's another guy, um, they get put under a lot of scrutiny. Now, do I 100% believe that they are preaching a false doctrine? You know, I mean, it's hard to say because when you listen to them, you know, some of the points they make are really valid. I mean, you know, they preach on, you know, treating others with respect, you know, having a good communi community, you know, treating your, your wife well, having a good job, being successful, uh, respecting others, creating a better environment around you. And I mean, there's a lot of core values in there about Christianity that are actually true because, you know, Jesus taught us to walk, you know, and look out for the other guy, you know, be selfless and love others better than we love ourselves most of the time. And so a lot of these core values that these televangelists do preach do have some validity. Now, does that justify, you know, what, what they're saying it for? No. No, it does not because, you know, they might have a valid point. They might be even telling the truth, you know, 100% within God's word, right in line. But their motive for telling that truth is to get money basically out of your pocket. And that's where the problem lies, you know. They're trying to get you know, say a hundred bucks from you, twenty bucks from you, ten bucks from you, whatever amount of money, it doesn't matter. It could be from, you know, ten bucks up to three thousand dollars. I mean, I know some people are a little bit better off and they, you know, will put twenty-five thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars into these ministries and it's just not right, you know. It's hard earned money by people, you know. I mean, you look at some stories, people believe they're going to get healed, you know, they lay, they lay hands on these people, they fall back, and then, you know, supposedly, you know, like Benny Hinn, you know, he throws his, <laughs> I mean, I saw one video, it was just so r ridiculous. He's throwing his coat around like a maniac and just throwing it at people and they're falling over. It's like, w w you know, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, you know, this is not of God at all, you know. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, and there's definitely some demonic activity going on there. You know, you see, you know, just the way he acts on stage and what he preaches and, you know, the falsehoods and the lies that he tells. Like, I'm, I'm speaking about Benny Hinn here. Um, you know, and like supposedly before, I believe it was back in the early 90s, he said, well, you know, Fidel Castro was going to die. And then he said things like uh, the homosexual community would be destroyed by great, you know, like fire from God. And, you know, that never happened. And Fidel's still alive, as far as I know. I mean, I, have, I don't really keep up with, you know, what's going on with him. I don't know if he died rec recently, but I don't, I don't really care to pay attention to Fidel Castro, but he didn't die in the early 90s. That's basically the point. And what does the Bible say about, you know, pro a prophet? You know, if what he says does not come to pass, he's a false prophet. So right there, that should tell everybody, everybody, if you read your Bible, to not follow this guy, to not believe what he says, to not, you know, sow seed into his ministry or to support him or in any sh way, shape, or form. You know, just cast them out and just move on, you know. Um, do people make mistakes? Absolutely. But, you know, in this case, you're, you're pro if you're claiming to be a prophet of God and to be blessed and anointed by God, you absolutely, it's not your word, it's his word that you're speaking through your mouth. You know, God anoints you to speak and you speak in his name. So if God is speaking through you via the Holy Ghost and his blessing and anointing, you absolutely cannot be incorrect in your information absolutely cannot be false because God is who he is and God's not a liar. We know this to be true. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. I mean, he's not ever going to change. So, you know, these preachers absolutely they do change. You know, I, I, believe, I believe, you know, when you break it down, like I watched a couple of dollars on Larry King Live and CNN, uh, they had some interviews about him being scrutinized with the money he